What's up guys, Shane Storms with Droid Modder X. The Lenovo K3 Note has to be one of my favorite budget phones or sub $200 phones. The only thing that I really hate about the Lenovo K3 Note is the software. So it comes with the Vibe OS. The Vibe OS is just a heavily bloated version of Android. It has pop-ups that pop up randomly. If you turn the screen off on your phone and leave it sitting there for a couple of hours, you wake the phone back up, you'll have like five or six pop-ups. So it's kind of like, it's almost like malware. It is just plain ridiculous. So to make this the best phone it could possibly be, we're going to install Signage in my 12.1 that is an AOSP version of Android. And this should not only help this to perform better, it's going to get rid of all that nasty bloatware. And with a phone like the Lenovo K3 Note that has an awesome display and performs well, it really would help it in my opinion to have software like Cyanogen Mod to get rid of all that ugly bloat. <laughs> Okay guys, so you want to head to the link in the description and grab the CyanogenMod 12 and the G apps. This is the uh, Root Junkies download website and he has all the files that you need uh, for pretty much anything. So big shout outs to Root Junkie for providing us with this awesome download page. And uh, once again, grab the CyanogenMod 12 and the G apps, store those on your SD card, and then we're going to go ahead and boot into recovery and flash this. Okay, so with your device powered off, we're going to boot into Clockwork Mod Recovery. We'll hold volume up and down, and then hold power until it rumbles, and we'll let go of power. And you should hold volume up and down until it boots into recovery. Okay, so before you install Cyanogen Mod, you're going to want to make a full Nandroid backup of your device. This way you'll have a full backup of your stock rooted system. That way you've got a safety net in case you accidentally flash something wrong. You can always return to a safe point. So the way you'll do that is scroll down using the volume down to back up and restore and press power button to select and then press uh, back up to SD card so go ahead and select that that's going to do a full backup of your device when you're finished just go back and then go to wipe data factor reset and select that go to yes and select that give it just a few seconds to wipe everything okay when that's all finished you're going to go to install zip go to choose zip from SD card Go to your download folder, that'll be where your CyanogenMod 12.1 zip is, so go ahead and flash that. Okay, so when that's finished, you're going to have to flash the GApp, so choose zip from SD card. Scroll down to the download folder. And then go with the GApps 5.1. And yes to install the GApps. Okay, when all that's finished, we're going to go back, reboot system. Okay, you should be greeted with the Signage and Mod 12 boot animation. Now, this is going to be a full AOSP version of Android, so uh, no more bloatware, no more Vibe OS, and this should make your phone perform a whole lot better. You're not going to have to deal with those malware-esque pop-ups that happen all the time with the Vibe OS. It's just going to give you a pure unadulterated version of Android on your Lenovo K3 Note. It should improve uh, the overall performance, the overall usability, and the overall experience on your Lenovo K3 Note. Okay, so now that we're all booted up, you guys can see this is a much cleaner version of Android for Lenovo K3. Probably will improve your user experience. There was one application that I had to disable this little iFly application here. Uh, if you go into settings and apps all the way down to the bottom, uh, there's an iFly application. There was one other little application that looked kind of like uh, right there. That's this one I disabled. There was like a little floating panda that I couldn't get rid of. And it said it was for your recents, but it's just bloatware. So there's a few little bloatware applications in this Cyanogen mod that are built into the ROM itself. Uh, but it's way better than what Vibe OS comes with. So you guys can see this is just standard Cyanogen mod 12.1. If we go into our settings about phone, you guys can see that we are running Signage and Mod. Anyways, guys, that about wraps it up for the install guide for Signage and Mod 12.1 on the Lenovo K3 Note. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.